Hi there, I'm Dawood Qureshi and I'm ambassador for the Bumblebee Conservation Trust. I'm also a wildlife filmmaker, journalist and marine biology student, not to mention a passionate and avid naturalist. Bumblebees have been a huge factor in getting me interested in the natural world from a young age and I'm here to talk about one of the most fascinating and beautiful species I've come across recently. The short-haired bumblebee is a species native to the UK, at one point existing all over the south of England, as far north as Humberside, but disaster struck around the 1950s due to rapid losses of grassland habitats, habitats the species relied on to survive and thrive. The population started to decline, becoming isolated and patchy. This magnificent little specimen was declared extinct in the UK by 2000. But conservationists refused to give up hope, and the Short-Haired Bumblebee Reintroduction Project was formed between the RSPB, the Bumblebee Conservation Trust, and Natural England in 2009. The project's aims were to reintroduce the Short-Haired Bumblebee into the UK and properly establish a suitable habitat through Dundas and Romney Marsh, in the process raising awareness of the bumblebees and their plight that they face in today's world. You may be thinking, how would this even be possible? Well, a population of UK origin short-haired bumblebees already lived in New Zealand, where they were introduced in 1985 in order to pollinate red clovers, and these bees served as a source for the reintroduction of the species into the UK. Unfortunately, it was discovered later that these queens were not reproducing in the UK, and therefore the source population was changed to a more European country, such as Sweden. One of the main aims of this project is creating much needed habitat for the bees and the many other species of plants and animals that share and support their ecosystem. To do this, you need land. The project works with farmers, smallholders and other landowners, and today these landowners and farmers look after a whopping 2,460 hectares of land. They receive advice and help from the project in order to farm and garden sustainably for the bumblebee's future. Since 2009, the project has seen huge gains in natural diversity and the provision of bumblebee habitat. It has, over the 10-year course of its running, advised on the management of 1,483 hectares of farmland and a further 448 hectares of other land within the Dungness and Romney Marsh area. Not only has this provided habitat for the short-haired bumblebee themselves, but several species of rare bumblebees have increased as a result. This is a huge achievement, especially as taking into account the three extra species have increased by threefold away from reserves. The project has allowed huge involvement from the public, with volunteers, students and professionals all getting involved, engaging, engaging with 30,500 people through school visits, events, talks and walks. This project is the largest of its kind, it has a massive abundance of resources, with significant support from the scientific and conservation communities, and has brought together people from all backgrounds and walks of life, raising awareness to our dwindling habitats, our species in need of help, and our growing need to sit up, take advice, and get to work in saving our wildlife. It has achieved leaps and bounds conservation-wise, reintroducing rare species of mumblebees, creating and sustaining huge areas of natural habitat, rich in wildflowers and insect life. Despite the efforts of all involved, the short bumblebee has not shown signs of breeding successfully in the UK. However, as Dr Gammons of the Bumblebee Conservation Trust says, the story of the short bumblebee reintroduction programme demonstrates how hard it is to bring back something once extinct. The best thing to do is to stop species from becoming extinct in the first place. We should conserve what we already have and work hard to prevent future extinctions by habitat restoration. Jill Perkins, CEO of Bumblebee Conservation Trust, added, Reintroductions are increasingly being seen as a silver bullet for species conservation. They should not be, as they need a huge amount of time, effort, money, and frankly luck to be successful. While the short-haired bumblebee may not be back as a British breeding species, the project was set up to bring back rare bumblebees, and it has achieved exactly that.